Okay, welcome back to part five of the step. And in this video, we're going to add our first series of braces to our step underneath. And this is picking up on slide 14, I believe, of the training for our um, part studio. All right, so um, here the first thing we're going to want to do is we're, we're going to want to activate the right plane view. And we're going to want to create our sketch on this right plane. So when we draw it, even though it'll look like we're going to put it up uh, over here on the side, it's actually being placed right here in the center of our part. So go ahead and hit Shift S on the keyboard for sketch. Select the right plane. And then M for view normal to sketch plane. And we're going to want to add a little line right here to, on the center of the um, sketch plane, which is really the right view. So we're going to hit L for line, and we're just going to draw any old line here um, that will work. We just want to place it pretty close to the middle, and then we want to dimension that line 5 millimeters from the bottom of the step. So D on the keyboard, left click, left click, drag to the right, left click again to activate the dimension constraint, and put in 5, and um, from there we have our location of where we want to add our first traction step. So we're going to hit accept and you can see it's actually underneath. So we're going to flip this over now because we're going to be drawing our actual rib on the bottom portion of the step. The next thing for us will be to come up here to the rib command and we're going to want to select a couple things. So our sketch profile is really sketch 3. You can select it from the feature tree. You can select it inside the actual graphic window if you'd like. Um, the part should automatically populate with step, which will be down here on the bottom of our feature tree under the parts menu. The thickness that we want is 5 millimeters. And then the other thing too, as you can see, it's obviously just drawing it the length that I have line, and we actually want it to go the full length since it is a structural brace. So we need to come over here and activate extend profile to part, and it'll that way if you ever go back and adjust the size, this parametric um, option will automatically repopulate to that overall um, length for you. So from here, we're going to go ahead and accept it. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to add some drafts. It's common for molds in order to have drafts on here to make them a little easier to, uh, to remove and place with the part. Um, so for us, we're going to go to the Quick Access Toolbar. We're going to come next to the rib and select the Draft option. And for the draft, uh, actually, I would probably hide this right work plane now. I think it's a little bit easier to, to work without seeing it all the time. Um, but in our draft, our neutral plane, we want it to be the top, which of the part, now this is really the bottom of the overall part, but it's the top from our current view. So I'll select that as my neutral. And then the entities that I want to draft are the two side parts. So it's a fit called a face of the rib. So if you select those, we can um, zoom out and our draft angle is going to be 5 degrees. Go ahead and leave this tangent to propagation for us. And now it's hard to see, but it's actually drafting it uh, on both sides outward at a 5 degree angle. And you can hit accept. And if you get it just right at the top, you can see if you zoom in that this is the bottom line, this is the top line, and this view that you see here is the actual material drafting at an angle of 5 degrees. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to add my pattern to this step. So my pattern at the top, this will be a linear pattern. The entity that I want to pattern are the rib. Uh, actually, make sure you change from pattern to feature, but I want to feature this rib and this draft. And then activate the direction, and the direction I want if you pick the one of the horizontal lines perpendicular. Doesn't matter if it's the one top or on the bottom. Any of these four options will work. Um, it will give me the edge of the shell is where I just selected it. The distance I want is 100 millimeters. And I do want 
um, two, but I want to select centered. Since I drew this one in the center, that'll be my first option, and it'll give me one on either side. This is a centered component. Once you have um, that there, go ahead and accept. And that is the first section for our bracing. I will see you in a bit for the uh, perpendicular braces.